in Buffalo. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Jones looking to throw right away. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Throwing is Allen on third. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Hey Charles, it's early, but that's a key third down conversion. Remember, they forced the turnover on the opening drive. Now they're in a position where they look like they'll at least get three out of this. A great example. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, 29 yards. And the Bills use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. A drive there of just four plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing Jones. He's got Smith here. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Second and seven. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Now a first down carry for Harris. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run 
Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. Now he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Bills are going to get the football back. But clearly that was a design play. I just don't know that it was the right design. I mean, your holder to have him pick it up and kind of be the power guy trying to run through the middle. Everything has to go right for that to work. You mean you weren't relying on just great blocking to get him through? You kind of think maybe he can help make his own way if he's an actual running back yeah. instead of the holder? Yeah, I thought the same thing. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Allen dancing to his left. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Allen now looks to throw. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Throwing on first down is Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bills have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 14-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And this one complete to Smith. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Now Jones. That's complete into the hands of Myers. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. And some room to run now. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Stevenson now on first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. 
Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Off play action. Jones. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because he just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. And Folk's kick is good, and they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. 23 yards on the play. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Out to his left. Man open downfield as Diggs, he's got it. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Throwing now is Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here. And they can look to really open things up now with the touchdown Bills. Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. Off the play fake, Jones. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner, and that quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap.
It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big play here for Buffalo. 57 yards. A one-handed catch, that's one thing, but with a defender right there, that was a heck of a play. It used to be that one-handed catch was instinctive in a game. Now it's a practiced move. They work on it before, after, during practice sessions. It becomes part of their repertoire. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. On his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Bills continue to pull away here in this first half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Back to throw, Jones. And his throw's going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Complete, Hunter Henry with a grab. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. To try again after the sack. Jones. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. But I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker, that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. He'll get it inside the 20. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and 10. On the draw is Stevenson. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Ten more there and another first down. Looking to throw. Jones. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. And he'll wind up losing five yards or so on the return, but no matter, they've got the football back. And the Bills are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Well, whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, he's going to. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. 
How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 36 yards. And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. Here's Jones on first down. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. After the sack on first down, Jones, he completes it to Henry. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. Now Jones throwing on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Back to throw, Jones. And he's gonna be marked down just inside the 35. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. The folks' kick is good. And that will knock this down to still a very large 29-point deficit. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park where the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one, maybe not the hard-fought battle many had hoped for. This has been blowout city thus far, but still more football to be played. Who knows what could happen? As we send you right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. This one fielded at the five. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. Now the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get it, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. And 
Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now it's Hines. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box, though. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Allen going to give this one to Singletary, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks, but when it's a star... And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Bills take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down, it's Stevenson. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And caught by Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Look at the throw. Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Harris running straight ahead. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the gun, it's Stevenson. Five yards, now it's third and five. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. 
Gregory Russo getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And now out come the Bills. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percent. Percentage completion wise way up not that time we're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and ten a give up the middle to Singletary and he'll get this up to about the 40 they get seven out of that so they're left with a third and three They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Now Allen. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. It's a gain of 35. I'm seeing a lot of guys shaking their heads on defense right now, particularly in the secondary. And when you see that going on, that is never a good sign. But it's understandable. They've been shredded so far. Operating from the red zone now. Allen being chased out left. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen. 14 yards, and the Bills have taken a six-touchdown lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto, and so the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a lot. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. On the give, this is Harris. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second and nine, Jones. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Gregory Russo, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his... Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Ed Oliver, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on to punt for New England. And this returnable for Hines. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the Bills are going to take over in great position here for the first and 10. Mike 
And the slot man goes in motion left. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And some space here. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, 38 yards. And the Bills add six more to their point total. And they're on cruise control right now here in the fourth. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Jones now on first and 10. Looking left side, and he's got a man. Matt Stevenson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. From the 41, Jones got Stevenson again. Back-to-back -back plays. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. 60 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw, Jones. Open man is Myers. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. To throw again on second down, Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And they get Jones for the third time in this ballgame. Tredavious White with a pick, and the Bills are going to get the football back at their own 17. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. On first down, Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. Three yards remain for second down. They go right back to Singletary. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. 
just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They run here with Singletary. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. On second and goal, Allen. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed watching their execution throughout this contest. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turn. I think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Jones on first down. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 33. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They'll look to throw again. Take him down. The Bills get to him. It's Shaq Lawson who worked his way in there to get him down. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Bills are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense will very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game,